Hello there, we have an exciting new feature on Skill Fusion. It's a chatbot feature, so it allows you to make tools similar to the GPTs and they see in the OpenAI store, um, but you can make them and publish them and sell them on Skill Fusion, just like all the tools uh, that people have made and some of that are for sale on here. These can be more like the, what you see in the GPT store, but they can also combine all the other features we've got in Skill Fusion as well. So it can be a bit of a cross between a chatbot and a tool. I've just made one here for you as a little example. Here, so this chatbot will help you decide what sort of style you want for your website. And then it goes ahead and makes that using what's called CSS, which is what websites use. So it's a combination between chatbot and the tool. So if I say like a gold black website with these, and the, the chatbot will just kind of continue asking me questions. Um, and and then once I'm ready, as per the instructions, I'm going to generate CSS and then it will switch into tool mode. Yeah. We just decide that. Also, put some great speed. Big text. And then once I've kind of finished, it will be generate CSS. And what will happen is it will switch down to tool mode, which says, hey, generating CSS, scroll down. And uh, this is like what our tools are normally like. So it goes through a sequence of blocks that I've set out uh, to do something that would be kind of too complicated for the AI to do in one go. So again, it's, I can open it up so you can see it here. It describes it verbally, what it should look like. And then it will mock it up in CSS. And then it uses a block. We've got the HTML preview block. Um, to actually show you what it would look like just up like a, a dummy page um, and then if, if you were a web designer you would obviously then copy the css from here if you were happy with it or you go back up to the um, and once there you go is its first attempt uh, and then so if i go up and i carry on talking so make it cool text and make it black Background. Mm -hmm. Solid gold, not too yellow. I don't know what the proper word is. Ta -da. Ta -da. I reply. So I understood. And then I'll say, generate CSS. Yep. And then it'll go back and it'll go through that again. And generate it. And you just keep doing that until you're happy with it. But this is just a simple example of the sort of thing you can make. You can make one that's just more like a chat block. Or, you know, we can see from the other tools, we've got some quite complicated tools on there. Some of these story writers will write an entire book and go through 40, 50 steps. So you could combine something that complicated with a chatbot if you wanted to. We've already got 130 general tools. We're going to file the chatbots here and the skill bots. I'll show you how to make a basic one. Or we'll do a separate video um, on how to make them. Essentially, the chat block is, is the block. And then you can, you can choose a model you want to use. We've got Llama in there as well. I recommend 3.5. It's quite quick. Doesn't use too many of the user's credits. The user can chat away there. We'll go in there and anything that's after that block, it will, yeah, we'll, we'll put you into like tool mode. But you can also do, the um, main ones you need to know are processing block. And we're going to modify the chat bot and basically say a message that we don't add to the chat history. Basically, that's how we... Add like the equivalent of custom instructions in there, um, and we'll just let the AI know that the custom instructions system. If you are an expert, oops, in Pokemon cards, da, 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 and you had all your custom instructions here. What will happen is they'll kind of live, stand and chat, but runs, they'll just be there, but the user won't see them. Um, oh, don't know what that is, we'll check that. <laughs> These won't see them, and then as we talk, that will control how the, the chatbot works. And then embeddings are how you add custom knowledge. Um, you've got a lot more control. It's more complicated to make the tool on our system, but it's you can make a lot better tools that do a lot more. Um, so embeddings block is like how you add knowledge. You can have a yeah, uh, and just look at the whatever the user's last question was, which is the answer, or we can put in the whole chat. Yeah, uh, that's kind of like the search string. And then we'll put in bits of knowledge. So we'll put in there, you know, a code as well, Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu is the best friend, whatever. 
Um, da, da, da. So you put in your knowledge there. And what we'll do is if they mention Pikachu, um, or we'd say Pikachu, there, once it's spoken. Uh, so who is Pikachu? Here, Massives, and then through my search block, you'll see here with knowledge block, it's, it's pulled out the tech. And then I would use another block to kind of add that into the system prompt. But we have lots of guides on the site and ultimate tools, so all that applies, but we're now with this extra chat block as well. So we'll make some special guides. And um, yeah, the main thing you need to know is anyone can sign up to the site. It's free credit yourself anyway for using tools. And then you can make them and uh, sell them. There you go, did some the other one there, so it's a little bit nicer CSS. And yes, once you've finished, you just kind of, if you stick it under skill bots, request to publish, you'll check it, set it live for you. Obviously set your price that you want to be paid in dollars each time someone buys it. You've got the option for monthly tools as well. And most of the stuff's one time. We pay on the eighth of each month and um, full sales on the previous month. Yeah, we're going for six months. We have a few creators on there who make tools on a regular basis. And this is the generic help file. If you click help on how to make tools and things like that. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll update this to include how to make chatbots soon as well. So you'll be able to see that on there. But yeah. Um, and you can, you can just make them for free for fun if you want, or you can try and sell them and then you promote them to people and things like that. And um, for a lot of the blocks, you can share the output. So yeah, so I can share it like that. If they used to show people like the output, depending on the type of block and stuff like that. Oh, and that's another little way to promote the tool as well. But yeah, I hope you find that interesting. Feel free to check out the site, skillfusion.ai. Uh, let us know if you have any questions.